What's going on? Harry AA here, your GB 100 meter sprinter. And today I'm training. So I thought, you know what, let me invite you in. I'm gonna be doing a little series where, you know, I'm just gonna talk about my training. You're gonna watch me train. And I thought I'd share. Let's get on with it. So basically my training session today, where the pandemic has sort of taken over, we're still picking things back up. I'm gonna be looking at my front squats, gonna be doing some hand cleans. So we're not really looking at going too heavy, but we're looking at reactivating that explosivity and that power that I'm so used to putting out. I know things have been a struggle, but you know what? We keep moving. And yeah, I've got a few other exercises, got a little circuit at the end, but hopefully you guys take something from it. And yeah, this is how I work out. Let's get to it. First things first, we warm up. The ceiling's too low in the gym. I'm getting my pulse razor in, getting my heart rate up, getting a little sweat on, but the ceiling's too low. I do like to skip. Try to learn a new skill during lockdown. I think I've done all right. Yeah, not too bad. And then once the pulse is up, I use my trusted hockey ball. We're gonna roll out on my hip flexors. Any little bits that I can find. Just gonna roll on them. In my TFL, my hip flexors, my, su my sartorus. All about getting these hips moving. I'd highly recommend it. All of a sudden you're gonna see cells of a hockey ball go right up. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of breath after my little pulse rate. About to get the muscles moving a little bit, get the blood flow going. This is like a norm for me. Get it in the glutes. If you really want to get in there, leg up. Ooh. Lovely. Since this is the first episode of this little series, I'm going a little bit in depth. Um, I don't know if I'll show that sort of stuff going forward, but gotta love it. Get to the other glute. What's that glute need for me, man. It's tight, very tight. Just warming up with the bar. Be smart and work within your limits. It's been interesting not being able to do what we would like. It's, you know, we're approaching the summer and there's no sign of competitions. Haven't been able to do much speed work. Haven't been able to lift much. But we've got to keep moving. Let's get some power cleans done. I'm still warming up. I'm just going for a, a snatch grip. Deadlift. Eighty on the bar. Since I'm in my home gym, I think my neighbours prefer when I hang clean. It's much quieter. Kilos, few reps. Again, I'm not the greatest at hand cleans. I love a power clean. My PB is like 180, so that's what I'm about. But at the same time, we've got to work on these little movements now. As I'm looking at ex executing a bit more power and strength into what I'm doing, uh, my coach is setting me this. So we've got to get it done in the best way possible, safely. My neighbors love me. Uh, 
Und schnell. Archie, don't even think I could lift that. <laughs> I'm even joking. Yeah. You'd, you'd be surprised. It's, I mean, there's probably ways I, I don't, 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 don't do. even mean like, yeah, I don't mean like clean. I just mean I don't even think like I could. Like, you can't give it a go, man. Hold on there, man. This is literally, you know, for some people, 110 kilos. Um, like, the thing is, you'll see so many like power lifters flinging this sort of weight up in the air. You know, I can power clean this for days, but, you know, like I said, creating that energy from nowhere, the hand cleaning is difficult for me. But, um, yeah, 110, it's my last set. Um, before we move on, yeah, let's have some fun with it. See, normally I'll be vibing to some music right now, getting me up for it, but for the sake of YouTube. <laughs> I'm all about them positive vibes, positive energy, energy. Can't even get my words out. The hardest thing I find with anglings is catching the weight again. I might do two, drop it, and then go back up again. It's more energy. It's more energy consuming just catching the weight. Just wanna fling it down. Fling it down. Strong back. sense as well because if you can stand up with a weight up and down with it then you know you can catch it and stand up with it so yeah let's get to it and um, three to four sets let's have some fun I tend to take maybe like two minutes in between each set but we've got three to four sets of four to five. Uh, just did 100, 110, let's go. How do you get ready for your squat? Give yourself a little smack, come on. Pep myself up today, do you know what I mean? Lovely jubbly. And we go up. We go up. We're working. It's never good to be left alone with your thoughts. Don't doubt yourself. You've got to stay positive. Even if you're blowing. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Make sure you comment below. Any questions, we'll answer them in the next video. Oh, fun sports, how I've missed you. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> Four reps, 120. Nice and strong. It's been a while since I've gone this heavy, so we've got to be safe, but let's give it some. Come on. explosive movement but since I'm only just getting back into these sort of lifts and movements so for example I would normally squat then a box jump or I would normally squat and run in my bungee or some form of explosive single leg hop but again we're warming ourselves in so those videos will come later on we're still moving so 130 on the bar let's just get strong 
Let's just get good at it. Got to suck myself up again. Come on, I need, I need the energy. I need you guys to give me some energy right now. Come on. Let's go, Harry. Let's go, Harry. Some people at home say it's only 1.30. It's fine. But we haven't been doing this for a while, so we've got to get ready. Approach each lift with that positive mentality like you know what you're about to do. Boy. shallow jumps, 30 kg on the bar, nothing too crazy, literally we pop down, out. Nice, got to keep it explosive, everything we're doing is for a purpose, nice, a few sets of that, and then we've got some hops, that you weren't expecting that way up. So again, these are not to be tried at home, unless you know what you're doing, in a safe environment, so we're about carrying momentum. So what I'm thinking about here is I'm popping up and then exactly I'm trying to get back off the floor. I'm not trying to spend too much time on the floor. I'm trying to be reactive. Because you can give a long push, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to carry that momentum because you're killing it dead. So um, that's a lot of things that we try to do on the track as you're accelerating out of the block. Don't want to be on the floor for too long. Um, I'm going to keep picking up and moving, moving, moving. Having that foot contact less and less and less but obviously still applying the same amount of force, keeping the momentum. This is all supplementary too. So I'm not gonna kill myself. Just gonna do one more set. Here we go, last set. After them heavy squats. Keeping the muscles active. Taking it outside, single leg hops, carrying on that same thing, so we've loaded. So now, I'm back up. Single leg, popping up. Creating that energy. At the moment, I'm about 86, 87 kilo. We've got to make it move. We've got to keep it moving. Finish off with, got my med ball between leg forward, I'm just looking to push it up. Six kilos. That's what goes. I'm exploding up. Just like that, training done. I'll be doing those sort of sessions like twice a week. But um, be good to know your comments. Do subscribe. Let me know what you think. And we're out here. Let's continue the journey. Yeah, I know I get it. It won't be to set it. I no time to check it. Didn't take long to wreck it. How you move so reckless? Ain't no diamond necklace. What we have was precious. YouTube just.